Digwit YouTube, Kunstatatu. First of all, I want to say, Tobrunner. I am sorry, but there will be no video of my trip to Sligo. And it's for the very simple reason that I packed my day bag with all the stuff I need for the weekend. And because when I got there, there wasn't a bed for me, I didn't unpack my day bag. So I couldn't pack it, you know, for the day. So I couldn't bring my, I didn't bring my camera, I didn't bring any of my water or anything like that. I was just carrying around the stuff I needed for surfing. That was it. Um, so, unfortunately, there won't be any footage. But I can give you a rather rip-boring story. Rip-boring story? Might be a slight exaggeration, but I can tell you what I did and how it happened, how it went. Weekend itself, pretty good. Uh, I was in bits traveling down, though I had far too much to drink the night before. But, you know, it's an engagement party. You're supposed to go a little wild. You're supposed to have fun. So, that's what I did. Congratulations, Thomas and Stephen, by the way. Uh, so, Saturday. Uh, because I was a little bit late getting in and a little bit late getting up, I was late getting my ride down to Sligo. But once we got in, once we got going and on the road, everything was fine. Got down to Sligo about half twelve, I think. Plenty of time to get ready for the afternoon surf session and... That was pretty good. The instructors were very good. They were kind. Of, they they watched us all. They didn't really give us much in the line of tuition. Well, they didn't give me much in the line of tuition. But that's just because I'm so damn good. No, not really. But um, yeah, no, it was all right. It was good fun. The waves were okay. You know, they've been better, but they were better than they were on Sunday. On Sunday, it was pretty flat. Uh, the waves would have been stronger on Saturday, only it was the wind was blowing against them, so the wind was blowing offshore. So it was wind against waves, and that kept the size down, unfortunately. And it was pretty strong wind as well. So, what can you do? After that, went and got lunch, and then went to the accommodation, and we proceeded to find out that there wasn't enough beds. The organizer who had ordered 60 beds and they only gave him 50 for some reason. So, three of the lads were in. Two of the lads were in one house, the other two were in another house, and I spent the night on the couch. Because the organizer had spent the guts of half an hour running around getting me an airbed and a sleeping bag. But the airbed had deflated by the time I got home that night. So, I was just like, ah, oh, feck. And the sleeping bag was in another house because when he got it I had closed the door and I didn't have a key. So talk about your series of unfortunate events. So I just I said it to him anyway. I said, look, I'll, I'll just sleep on my clothes. It'll be fine. It's only one night. So that's what I did effectively. I just lay down on the couch, plugged in my iPod, tried to listen to my iPod. I knew that sounded weird saying it. I don't use iPods. I don't use Apple technology. My created Zen. That's my MP3 player. Yeah. Anyway, it's my own personal bias. And just put in an audio book that I was listening to. Um, so got up and went surfing. Uh, the rest of the guys, we, we went to a place in Sligo called the Garavogue, which is a pub nightclub type thing, but we spent most of the night outside because it was a really nice evening and the Saw Doctors were playing as well. So we got, I got the last few of the songs by the time I got there. Uh, had one or two drinks, uh, a good dance, then there was a lock-in till three o'clock, and then we decided we'd get a taxi home, and then everyone piled into one house to drink some more and sing and dance and have fun. And I said, out to hell with this, I'm going to bed. I was in no humor, but I still, my stomach was still in bits, I really shouldn't drink that much again for a while anyway. Yes, so this vlog kind of isn't really going the way I want it to go. Um, I'll edit it down and see what see what it comes out as. But I want to say Gurmilhamagat to Brian for organizing a fantastic weekend. Can't wait to do it again. Um, my next surf weekend will be Dunfanny in Donegal, and that's the twenty second of September. So. 
I will try and get a feckin' vlog done for that because it's a pain in the arse not having footage to show you. Um, thank you to everyone who came. We had an attendance of 65 people, which is the largest attendance we've had at a Wet n Wild weekend event since the club was founded. So, thumbs up. Gurmila Magut to you. Um, that's about it. So that's it. I'll try and get a vlog um, installment when I go to Gravity this week, which I really must do. Uh, I'm not climbing in Docky this Thursday. The club is going out next Thursday. Uh, I might get something in Trinity if my climbing partner is back. Uh, I've no other kind of sport activities this weekend or this week. Uh, there's might there might be randers in the Phoenix Park, but. Shh. Tell nobody till afterwards. We're going to try and sneak in. They won't let us play because it's not a traditional Irish ball game. So we can't play it in their park. So. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Gurmila Market. August Longa Fall.